Hello and welcome to this easy tutorial on how to use, how to control Main Stage Three with the Korg Kronos over uh, MIDI on U uh, over USB and actually have the sound come back through USB into the Kronos as if it's native, and you can control uh, Main Stage directly from your set list in the Korg Kronos. This is the simple method using programs, uh, so it does have some disadvantages in that you can't stack them, you can't do combinations uh, and so on. But if you're only interested in getting the your favorite sounds from main stage into the Kronos and being able to switch between the built-in sounds in the Kronos and your main stage patches, this is ideal and it's very simple to set up. Uh, it doesn't require going in and doing a whole lot of uh, um, uh, MIDI channel uh, settings and stuff like that. So it's quite easy to do. Uh, as I say, you just create a, a dummy. Um, it's a it's a dummy program, um, which you set the USB uh, one and two for the input, and turn off all the other inputs, and save that as a something like called you call it main stage or whatever you want to call it really, and then you'll just copy and paste that into uh, your set list in multiple locations, and I'll show you how to do that we will assume that you've already done the init program and you've given it a name such as main stage and this will go into one of your user uh, user defined uh, memory play, memory locations so we'll call it main stage and what we do you don't really have to worry about any MIDI or anything like that because this will all be because we're using a program uh, all the MIDI set, uh, settings are by default anyway uh, but what we need to do is we need to go into the audio sampling on your screen and uh, in the audio sampling uh, audio sampling screen uh, you'll see input one and input two you'll need to turn those off because those will be the default uh, piano sound so turn uh, just up here in the top line so you, where you see the bus select uh, uh, and so on and so forth, you, turn, uh, you actually set them to off. Same thing for uh, input two, same for the uh, SPDIF uh, left and right. But at USB one and USB two, you want to turn them on and set them to left right. And then you want to pan them. So the USB one, you want to pan all the way to the left and USB to pan all the way to the right, such as that. And then you just save, uh, save that as a user-defined preset. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is create uh, a new set list. And for this, we're not going to use position, position zero at all, uh, because in fact, what happens when you change positions on a set list, it actually sends MIDI signals uh, and it sends the program change because main stage does not recognize uh, program change with zero. Uh, it only goes from one to one twenty uh, one to one twenty seven. No, one to one twenty six, and the core goes from zero to one twenty five. So uh, you will only be able to use one hundred and twenty five um, uh, one hundred and twenty five pl uh, positions, uh, but still. Uh, should be plenty for uh, this particular this particular purpose. So what we'll do is we'll go to position one, and we'll go into a uh, a program. So for example, we'll pick up our main stage uh, our main stage program that we that we created. And then all we're going to do is just copy the exact same um, the exact same uh, program into all of the slots on your set on this on your new set list. So you just go ahead and do that, and then I'll show you how that reacts within uh, main stage. Once you've created your uh, set list with the names of each of your patches, like I've done here. And essentially, all that happens is when you go through uh, each patch, or when you go, yeah, when you go through each uh, each preset in the set list, 
for example, there. If I want nuclear strings, spiccato strings, pizzicato. If I want uh, nucleus chant, if I want the Yamaha CFX Concert Grand, and so on. So it's actually uh, it's actually quite straightforward. There are some settings that you have to do within main stage, however, in order for that to work properly. So let's have a look in main stage in the configuration of main stage itself. We'll assume that you already have your uh, main stage audio set up to go out the USB connection back to the Kronos. Uh, so it should be, you should have your MIDI set to the Kronos and your outputs set to outputs one and two for all of your patches. So let's have a look at the Yamaha CFX and we'll have a look at the program. Make sure you have the program change attribute. Look at the attributes tab and then the program change attribute, which is here. Make sure that's set. And because the main stage starts from one, but the chrono starts from zero, you just need to add one to the position number that you're, you're, that you're doing, that you're, um, you're trying to reference. So, for example, for this one, I'm using the uh, Yamaha CFX Concert Grand. On main stage, I've set it to uh, program change control zero. On the Kronos, it's position one. So, if you there, position one, CFX, CFX Concert Grand. And you do that for each of your patches. So, the Noir Felt Piano, I have set to uh, patch change three. Uh, Damage Armageddon, I have patch four, and so on. You can set those to whatever you like, as long as they correspond to the position in your set list. So your set list will be numbered from uh, 0, to 120, uh, 0 to 125. In your main stage, it'll be numbered from 1 to 126. And then you save your set list, and you should then be able to go back into, like, perform, perform stream and switch between all of your different all of your different uh, patches just by on your set list controls and so on uh, do that for as many as you like. Like I said, you're limited. You're limited to um, uh, basically 126 uh, because of the uh, the difference in numbering. So you're offset by one between main stage and the Kronos. Uh, once you've got that set, save your set list, and you'll be able to control your uh, main stage from your Kronos and have the audio from the main uh, from main stage come back into the Kronos as if it's a native sound. Nothing at all to stop you from uh, going to, you know, your other normal set lists or your built-in sounds. That's not a problem. Uh, just remember that when you create your um, your dummy interface or your dummy uh, program, which you probably name main stage or something like that, uh, just make sure you have inputs one and two turned off and also the SPDIF turned off and the USB inputs one and two turned on and panned left right accordingly. So it's quite simple. There are some disadvantages with this uh, configuration in that you cannot stack them, you cannot uh, make combinations out of them. They're just es essentially they're just the power, uh, just the sounds that come uh, that are just your patches within main stage, and they're set in the order of your of your set list. The actual order is up to you. You just make sure that the number within your set list on the Kronos corresponds to uh, the number that you've set in the um, program change attribute within main stage. And Bob's your uncle, as they say. Um, 
the advantage to this is that you only use up one memory slot for your main stage, um, your main stage uh, uh, program, or your main stage instrument, as it were. And you just make duplicate copies of the same instrument, which basically just it's a dummy, really. It's a placeholder more than anything else. Um, so you don't have to use up, you know, 100. If you've got 100 100 patches in main stage, you don't have to use 100 patches or use 100 memory slots if you're making it using the combo method um, by creating the combo method where you actually have to go in. And it's also the combo method that's a little bit more more long-winded as well because you also have to go in and set all your MIDI, uh, MIDI com uh, parameters and so on. Whereas just using the program, uh, all the MIDI, uh, MIDI is inherited from the, the default. So your, uh, your control channel of, of, of one is you know, standard. And it just sends uh, sends the con uh, the program change uh, controls uh, based on the position within your set list. So it's it's really quite that simple. Hope that helps, and enjoy, guys. <laughs>